I'm back. I've just written all the names down. I hope you can read my writing. I apologize for it being so tiny. <laughs> and I'm going to move on to the second line of trees. Cactus green. Hmm. Do we do a cactus or I don't feel I'm not feeling the cactus shape. So I think I might go, let's just do, hmm, I'm going to go, just go with it and see what happens. Sometimes you just do shapes and they just evolve as you're doing them. You don't really have to think about it too much. a very very pretty green it's a diamond shaped tree These pencils require patience because you need to layer the colours. You can't just apply them onto the paper and instantly get the result you want. But I, they are worth it. I love like, these pencils. I've tried um, other pencils like Prismacolor and I haven't tried many Derwent pencils. I intend to try them. but. I just feel I have more control with these. I know control isn't always the best thing to have when you're creating. But I just feel um, more at home with these pencils, if that makes any sense. <laughs> mm. So I'm going to use the chestnut brown and just do. little shape underneath you just that and my shadow not very good shadow but shadow nonetheless um next up is this color which is forest green. Mm. I'm not sure if I actually want to do the forest green yet because I, it, it might be too similar to that. I think I'm going to break my own rule here and just pick one different colour. Mm. Which one should I pick? I think I'm going to pick this. I know that's too similar to that. Hmm, I'm going to, okay, just go with it. I'm going to pick this one. Quartz green. Oh, I haven't done a messy tree yet. They're quite symmetrical. So I think I'm going to go with messy tree here. This is beautiful colour. Almost like a celadon colour. As you can see, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Just letting the the colour guide me. Ended up being like a messy funnel shaped tree. Um, 
Shall we use brown or grey for the trunk? I think I'm going to use grey. And lighter grey for the shadow. Bigger tree, bigger shadow. Um, next, okay, we'll go back to going from left to right now. This forest green, forest green, I'm going to go with an oval shape, I think. So I can do here. I love green color, greens. I think it's because I'm um, probably influenced by the scenery around me. I live in the mountains and there are almost, well, there's one or two houses nearby, but that's about it. Um, so I am basically surrounded by greens. My, oh, well. I say that but we um, oh now I can see goats outside the window <laughs> um, it's the local goat herder my trees are becoming a little bit bigger than they were before they coming closer to me um, as I was saying the mountains around have also all these beautiful earthy colours um, the, the ochres and the um, the umbers and the stone, the nice slaty stone colours so I'm, I love those as well and I think those are my little dogs barking at the goats if you can hear them I have two little dogs along with Blue and they're playing in the back garden now. Okay, I'm getting a bit carried away with this. I hope I'm not shaking the table too much. I like that in my videos I get to play with my other art materials because I don't indulge myself in, in playing a lot with um, or experimenting that much because I know that I've got work to do <laughs> and I feel guilty. I don't know if um, you feel that way as well, that you know that you need to, you've got like a, a commission or you... Um, you want to upload some new work to your shops and I feel like oh my goodness I need to be doing that instead of just playing like a five-year-old with my <laughs> with my pencils but I love it I love it so much and I advise doing it as much as you want to even if I am not taking that advice myself because I feel guilty. <laughs> um, okay, next we have a very light green. I'm going to try and pronounce this chartreuse, chartreuse green. Now we are going to do a smaller tree because we went a bit too big there. I think. something a little bit different. I'm going to do a weeping shape. I'm afraid my little girls downstairs are going to bark as long as there are goats outside our garden. 
I apologize. one of my greys for the shadow next I have sallow oh, this looks like a pretty colour I can't remember using this too much I'll just remedy that um, should I go round? Do a round shape tree. The sun is slowly coming out. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, we were waiting here for Storm Eva to visit us, and she has. Um, but now, oh, I like that grey with that, that colour. Sorry, distracting again myself. She has, but she start well. She's one of those guests that are lingering because <laughs> um, there's like bouts of sun and bouts of um, heavy cloud. I don't know if we're going to have more intense rain. Last night was weird because we had some bizarre lightning. We had like orange lightning. So strange was worried in the beginning that we were going to, you know, something was going on that wasn't a storm, but it looks like it was just the storm. Now, part next up is Parrot Green. Hmm, shape, 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 shape. What shall we choose? I think I'm going to go for something like that. Move these out of the way. Very vibrant green. Teeny bit anti artificial for me at my liking, but when it's with other greens, it can you know it can have its place. How do you um, like to swatch your colours? Do you have a favourite way of swatching? I, I I don't think I stick to one way in swatching myself. I um, I change a lot. Depends what uh, the material is, obviously. And when I get something from the stationery shop or from online and it arrives I am so excited to try them out whatever it is paper pencils pens 
paint I might straight to my studio I might be thirsty I might be hungry <laughs> but I'm straight to the studio to try them out um, hmm oh, I think we're gonna go with brown And now I'm going to pause again to write the colours underneath for you. Be back, back. I'm back. I've just written the names underneath. And I have just five more greens to swatch. So let's begin with opal. Hmm, opal. Shall I do... What should I do... Not sure about the opal. I'll just start and see what happens. <laughs> I'm trying to um, put a little bit of order into my swatching, but um, not being very successful. Opal. What does opal? Be? It's just. What does opal remind me of? reminds me of winter so <laughs> this is turning into a fur shape Unfortunately, it doesn't darken too much, so I can't actually give it a lot of volume, which would have been better. But, c'est la vie. Um, grey? Grey or brown? I'll go with grey. thicker trunk I think. This is becoming a little bit too awkward for me because it's really close to me now. I can't really get a good view of what I'm doing so I apologise if it's really wonky work but I'm not going to worry too much about it so next my pencils are rolling away again verdigris now we don't have too many round trees do we we have one and two that's a kind of that's an oval i think i've only got one oval so uh, like a true oval like an egg shape so i'll do that if you hear little bells out um that is the goat they have these really tiny bells around their necks which chime every time they move and I love the sound <laughs> one time the goats got into our garden there were goats everywhere they were on the bank they were in the back garden they were in the front garden our doggies were going absolutely crazy but since then we've started shutting the gate <laughs> um, 
the front of the house so they can't get in. I love goats. They do tend to eat everything. We've got plants there. I once found a pair of donkeys in front of our house. No, no one was near, so I went outside. I um, gave them water and <laughs> tried to feed them uh, whatever grass. I don't remember what I had to hand back then. It's been a couple of years and um, I ended up phoning the council to come and take care of them. I think they were lost. They were lovely, lovely creatures. I love donkeys as well. Nice little tree. Again, very basic. Um, next, I have moss green. Ah, shape, shape, shape. What shape should we do? I think I am going to do a little shrub because I've only done one shrub. Or, or, here's an idea, what if I do a tiered tree, I haven't done one of those. a little bit of shadow and I've got two more two more colors I've got mist green and spruce well I think I'm gonna do spruce and go a little bit crazy with it have a lot of space left for two colours. I hope this video isn't too long for you. I hope you've grabbed something nice warm beverage or a cool beverage if you're in there. Uh, in a place that's hot and just relaxing maybe doing your own drawing painting or other work just hanging out here with me I love to think that you are out there just enjoying the peace and the, the calm of playing with them um, materials like this. Okay. Um, we 
haven't used grey as a um, trunk in a while, so I'm going to use grey and make that really tall, um, upright funnel shape tree. Our shadow, which has become more haphazard as I've um, moved towards me. And the last colour I have is mist green. Hmm. What shall our final shape be? I'm undecided. Maybe I should just do another weeping. willowy kind of shape. Make it a little bit bigger. I should use grey with that, shouldn't I? Um, so grey suits it better, I think. And there we go. We have my trees. Now I'll pause it here just to write the last colours down and I'll be back. So I've written the final names on these and there you have it. A palette of greens, of erogeting greens. Um, I enjoyed this immensely i enjoyed swatching this so much um let me know if this kind of swatching is something that you are interested in seeing more of i'm sure i can come up with um, different things to swatch di different shapes i just love doing it because i get a feel for the colors better and it, it feels almost like i'm 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 playing with the colors just spontaneously just doing um, shapes and seeing what ha what happens um, thank you for sitting through this if you're at the end here <laughs> if you're still with me thank you for sitting through this video with me um, I hope you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts I would absolutely um, treasure any um, feedback if this is something that you would like to do so because then it will mean that you are directing me into what you would prefer viewing um i, I just i just like doing this i just like having fun with my pencils and just you know uh, chatting away to you um thank you so much um I hope to see you again soon. Next week I may be um, 
having to take a small break from videoing because I need to go into hospital for some treatment and I'm, there might be some side effects afterwards so I may be not be able to video for like a week but I will be back um, and I can't wait to be back because I'm loving doing this and learning and sharing my love of art materials with all of you thank you again um, if you liked this video uh, please like <laughs> if you would like to see more from me please subscribe and please remember to hit the notification bell so that you know that I've uploaded a new video thank you again and I I hope to see you soon oh before I go I was going to say that I'm going to list these um, I'll list the the Orosha 10 pencils below I don't know if Jackson's carries them I bought them from directly from Japan but I'll try and find um, someone who does uh, provide them uh, I'll list this as well and I'll also list because why not this lovely um, pencil sharpener that I have I've had it for a few years now it's made in Germany I bought it from Jackson's and I absolutely love it because it has like a small hole and a big hole so I can do all my um, um, sharpening in there with any pencil I have but it sharpens really well it sharpens to such a lovely fine point so I'll add that as well Thank you again and I hope to see you all soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.